he was like a shark. He was always moving. And by that, I mean, you know, certainly if not physically, mentally, there was, he was always cooking. There was always, you know, his brain was always going. His soul was always alive. And he was always collecting material. Yeah, he would, um, you know, we, one, one great memory I have of our time together, um, after he shot the car, um, you know, he, his confidence was really, you know, very poor at that time, and we had just started dating. And one night we were out in Hollywood, and we had been to the, uh, one of those discos, the candy store or Jack's or one of those places. And um, we, he did it. We were going home, and he did a U-turn. And we went to the comedy. I said, where are we going? It's a surprise, he said. We went straight to the comedy store, and he got on stage. When he got on stage, and I saw what he did, the magic – he started talking about, I mean, this was a, with no net. He saw a piece of wax on the floor and started talking about this drop of wax. And from that drop of wax, you know, like a genie from a bottle, he just, it just became this magic. And he, he, he started weaving these wonderful stories and routines. And then what we did was we regularly went there every night. And he would do what was called woodshedding, which very few comics do now. Um, he would go there as a discipline every night and and get up on stage and take that material and I would take notes and it became live in concert um, and the next morning we would take these notes sit by the pool and drink coffee and have breakfast and go over these notes and um, you know we'd talk about like what worked and what he should you know expand on and um, that's when he started you know talking about the animals too the deer and the woods and um yeah he he uh and of course at, at at strange times too Richard would try out material you know he never turned off so so it was an ongoing onslaught of um fury comedy fury combined a sort of perfect storm constantly in Richard's mind and soul and um to keep up with him was was um a challenge and one that I, I, I still am in awe of, and not, it will never be duplicated. I mean, Richard was um, an amazing man, an amazing person to know, and he is and remains the love of my life.